Just stick until the end to figure out how much I paid for this monster server. Hey, hey, this is David, your friendly DevOps admin from Trivial Solutions I owe here. And today will be like a sort of a different video because I actually bought a monster AI server, monster server to train uh, AI models, right? <laughs> Actually, I'm not that very well versed in AI, but you know, it's a trend, you know, before it dies off, <laughs> it's good like to, you know, to try it out, do something with Python or whatever. I was never big on machine learning, but you know, I'm interested in all sorts of technology. So this server is named uh, Supermicro 4028GR-TRT. Um, yes, that is correct name. <laughs> so anyway, when I was picking a server, like I'm not a huge fanboy of either uh, server manufacturer, be it Dell, Supermicro or something. I was simply looking for a server that would be able just fit in as many GPU slots as can and perform it to the, as I'm an absolute cheapskate and I don't want to spend much on hardware, spend as little money as possible and get as many GPU slots as possible. So we'll see what we have. Oh, so let's go around how it looks. So this is uh, the front of the server and these are all the hard disk slots. So these are 24 hard disk slots. And actually I only, when I ordered this, I bought only one slot for the root partition and that's it. Like, uh, because of course I'm an absolute cheapskate I don't want to buy like fill all the server instantly with all the disk space that I don't actually need, right? I can always add disks whenever I want, right? And this is other side, yeah, you know, typical server stuff. These are power supplies. Each one is a thousand watts. They're of course hot swappable. Thousand watts each, four of them, right? So slide it in. And just like that, it closed. And of course, there are two usable Ethernet sockets. This is for the small computer IPMI module. These are usable uh, two Ethernet slots. Nobody cares about that. And nothing interesting here. So next, we'll go inside and open this up, see what's in. So let's see what we have inside. So this is the core reason that I bought this server. So as you can see, I have two GPUs here. These are NVIDIA Tesla P100s. They have 16 gigs of RAM each. They're, uh, you know, they're quite old, but that's fine because, you know, I, I don't think hardware really advances that much to warrant buying newest, eight, latest and greatest. And besides, if I ever want, I can replace them with 800s once they become cheap, you know, to do the same thing. And there are actually, I, since I'm a cheapskate, I only have two GPUs now, right? And there are one, uh, six more slots. One, two, three. These are small. These don't count. These are X8 and X4. And one, two, three, six slots more that I, I could fill this with eight GPUs total. So if I fill this with P100s, that would be like, uh, around 140 gigs of RAM, VRAM. And if I fill this, of course, with 800s, it would be like some crazy number, you know? So yeah, so, and uh, here, let's look at RAM. I also didn't buy all the RAM, right? So there are many more slots to add. I could, these are 64 gigs of RAM stick, right? I only have two of them, each for one CPU. I could fill the server up to 1.5 terabytes of ECC memory, right? So that's huge. And of course we have the processors here hiding behind the heat sinks. So the logic here is I didn't buy the most, I didn't fill the server up with everything I didn't need, but I bought a server with the most possible slots because, you know, as I need, I can add more GPUs. I can add more RAM up to 1.5 terabytes and I can add all 24 disks if I ever need such. So yeah, so 
that's the logic behind buying the server and it should serve i hope this serves me for a long time so next thing we'll boot this up and uh, see like the benchmarks how it goes oh and another thing i forgot to mention actually when this server came in original form like this daughter board it was damaged right this uh, pci slot was broken and uh, i received one faulty gpu so shout out to the server store guys that uh, replaced it this uh, part slides out, right? So this entire board can be replaced. There's a motherboard down below this, right? So I got parts, uh, missing parts for free and everything went great. So thanks guys. <laughs> so now let's turn this bad boy on and see our electricity bill and the sound. Okay. Yeah. The sound is not too bad now. It will be, it will soon pick up <laughs> a little bit, let's wait, it actually makes, uh, it would make a pretty good air conditioner, okay, yeah, so now you see the reason why I brought this to another room, <laughs> that's, uh, but this is only during boot. This foams down later and it becomes normal again. So, you know, this is only during reboot that this is just live. And it should foam down soon. Let's wait. Okay. So now it finished, it calmed down and that's it, that is how it usually operates during the normal sound. Hey what's up, so basically I'm at the laptop, I'm on a local VLAN at my home, I'll connect to the server. So as you can see this is the bare metal server I'm connected to and as you can see it has 72 cores total, right? And it has 126 gigs of RAM. And uh, for the devices, I only have the one disk that I actually pulled out and showed. Let's see our NVIDIA cards. So, like I mentioned, I have two on the sides, NVIDIA Tesla P100s. They're quite cheap. And I could have up to eight of those ads. So, each one has uh, 16 gigs of uh, VRAM. So, if I added this total, uh, how much would that be? Let's find out, uh, 16 times 8, so it would be 128 gigs of VRAM if I filled it entirely. So I'll just run like some short benchmark just to see. We'll uh, be looking at uh, the utility of these and I installed the NVIDIA Docker runtime. So if I say Docker runtime, this will this will run the benchmark benchmark i already run will use both cpus and they should be utilized and let's see okay it's being loaded i don't know if you can hear it but in the background i still hear uh, my server in another room and it's it's quite loud <laughs> and i see it's getting more intense okay so it's like 98 percent utilization all memories used on first gpu more than half used on that GPU. I don't know, like, uh, I'm not too experienced in uh, machine learning and AI training. If you guys are experienced, is this benchmark good or not? <laughs> I, I hope it should be good. But anyway, it will finish. So this entire server, this entire monster server, I paid only one drum roll I paid only $1,600 for 72 cores, 128 gigs of RAM. I could fill it with 1.5 terabytes of RAM and for two NVIDIA Tesla P100 cards that costed uh, $200 each. And I could fill it with eight cards and have uh, 128 gigs of VRAM memory. So I think it's it's quite a good bang for my buck. 
I haven't seen a cheaper deal actually in other places. I saw the server costed like four thousand dollars, and I'm not even talking about the price when it was new server. So yeah, so that's it. That's my long video, and of course I run uh, my favorite operating system, NixOS. Here it was. It took like quite some time, a little time to catch these uh, NVIDIA configurations, right? So if I don't like it or if I swap cards, if I want AMD cards, I'll just comment this stuff out, rebuild configuration and my operating system on this bare metal will be as if it didn't have any NVIDIA drivers. Like compare this to Ubuntu where you install drivers <laughs> and then you have to like you don't do anything and hope they work because uh, if you mess with them too much then guess what you break your system well you're in solid but you know i think nix is a much, be much better option so that's enough of my rambling I i'm very glad with my purchase i hope this uh, will serve me a very long time so this has been david from trivial solutions io and i'm signing out peace